I maintain that bodies of water contain lots of terrifying creatures and eerie discoveries. They concealed tons of items and creatures well beyond our imagination. Why individuals still venture into these massive water areas baffles me. However, despite how chilling it might sound, these reservoirs, lakes, waterways, and seas still hold some bizarrely interesting finds. Amazing! Number 10. Train Trestle and Underwater Forest These first discoveries were made in Lake Taps in Washington State near Seattle. The train trestle dates back to the turn of the 20th century, and alongside the forest, they were submerged when a dam was built in 1911 and have been underwater ever since. The dam was constructed by Puget Sound Energy Company to produce hydroelectric power but stopped operations in 2009. This discovery would not have been made were it not for a crack that developed on the dam, and thus the dam had to be drained for repairs to be made. Draining the dam revealed this unnerving landscape that consisted of the trestle and the forest. It was utterly surprising finding the forest in such immaculate condition after more than a hundred years underwater. Initially part of the terrain, the forest met its watery ordeal as it was part of the valley the lake would eventually fill. Once the lake started filling up, it was submerged with pretty much everything else. However, the forest stands to date and has this spooky aura to it. Number 9. Bombay Beach Town Previously touted as California's Riviera, the town of Bombay Beach has been lost under the Salton Sea for more than 40 years. To comprehend the history of Bombay Beach, you have to first understand how the Salton Sea came into being. Back in 1905, the Colorado River swelled and flooded the Salton Sink. This continued for the next two years, creating a 15 by 35 mile lake christened the Salton Sea. Birds flocked to the area and fish flourished. Developers seized on this opportunity and Bombay Beach was born. Folks swam, golfed, reveled, and the town thrived unaware of the impending danger. Chemicals from farm runoffs were slowly being deposited in the lake, and these levels soared to a dangerous high. Birds died, and with little oxygen in the lake, the fish suffocated. Their rotting bodies were dragged to the shores, and this eventually resulted in fish skeleton-coated shores. As if this wasn't enough, the lake broke its banks and submerged the lower part of the town. Now, thanks to the great drought in 2014, trailers and houses that had previously been underwater are now visible. Number 8. Lost Gold Era Towns and Mineral Deposits The 19th century was the golden era. The gold rush led to hordes of people relocating to the state of California, who later came to form mining settlements. Since these settlements were located near rivers, most have since been submerged with the development of reservoirs. Nonetheless, droughts in California are key as they reveal what lies on the lake beds. One interesting discovery is the Mormon Island, which was founded by Mormon prospectors in the 1840s in Folsom Lake, Sacramento. This town has been buried in Folsom Lake since 1955, when the Folsom Dam was completed. In its peak, Mormon Island had a population of 2,500 people, a school, several saloons, and four hotels according to the KRCA. The foundation of some of these buildings are still visible. Another exciting finding is Old Kernville. Founded in 1860 by gold prospectors, it was flooded after the creation of Isabella Dam and has been discovered after the water level dropped to only 5.8% of the lake's capacity. Foundations of a school, jail, a general store, and Methodist church are still visible. The ebbing water levels in these lakes have also brought hope to modern-day gold prospectors. Why? Well, previously, inaccessible gold deposits are now reachable. For instance, one Cal State University student made $900 from a stream that had been inaccessible before the drought. Number 7. 1,000 Lingas This discovery takes us to the east on the banks of Shaumala River in the Indian state of Karnataka. Only visible during the dry season or when the water levels have receded due to overconsumption, this magnificent discovery was first recorded in 1969 by ethologist John Bolbet and gives us some insight into ancient cultures. Often confused for the male and female sex organs, a linga is a smooth, phallus-like cylindrical mass symbolizing Shiva, resting at the center of a rimmed, disc-shaped structure. Lingas are powerful Hindu symbols that represent the energy and potential of god Shiva. The construction of these a thousand lingams was commissioned by King Sadashi Raga, also known as King of Sarisi of the Vijayanagar Kingdom, who reigned from 1678 to 1718. So yes, they are ancient. He commissioned the building of these stones to appease to the god Shiva to grant him an heir. These lingams are in Sahasralinga in Sirsi Tuluk, which is a pilgrimage place. It's also no surprise that Sahasralinga means a thousand lingams. Number 6. Fort Moki 
After more than 40 years, Lake Powell finally let in on her secrets in 2005 thanks to a seven-year drought, and this next find has been around for more than 750 years. Fort Moki is an ancient Anasazi Indian fortress that has been buried under Lake Powell since it first filled up. For hundreds of years, Fort Moki sat in the Glen Canyon, undisturbed, and happened to be a key attraction for anyone who dared venture into the canyon. It has now come to be termed as a ruin of a ruin, as only a few feet of the initial 12 feet high walls are still remaining. The walls of the ruins held invaluable secrets, as hundreds had inscribed their names including members of the John Wesley Powell River Expedition in 1869, which is a loss. When the Glen Canyon Dam was constructed in 1956, it resulted in the formation of Lake Powell, which swallowed Fort Moki in 1969. The fort has been underwater ever since. However, back in 2005, the lake receded by more than 100 feet, a new low since the construction of the dam that saved the fort from its watery ordeal, though for a short while. Number 5. Wedding Rings This discovery is a 250-pound ring that was found after 8 million gallons of water were drained from Tidal Marine Lake. Matt Walker was enjoying a swim in the lake when the gold band slipped from his finger. Frantically, he tried to look for it in the murky waters, but to no avail. To aggravate the loss, it was only a few days until his 13th wedding anniversary. Despairing, he contacted the committee which maintains the lake in Cleveland, Somerset, whose officials informed him the lake would be drained two months later. Certainly, a light at the end of the tunnel situation. Armed with metal detectors, Matt and five volunteers from the Somerset Artifact Seekers descended into the lake once it was drained. After two hours of painstaking searching and dozens of bleeps that yielded nothing much but metallic junk, Dave Baker, one of the volunteers, finally found it. This was after he decided to look into the pontoon where Mac had climbed. Talk about finding a needle in a haystack. Number 4. Federal Agent's Gun and Badge Back in 2014, California faced one of the worst droughts it has faced in nearly a century. This saw the water levels in many lakes drop to an all-time low. Though not that desirable, the drought made it possible for this discovery to be made in Lake Castaic. Back in 1992, an agent who now works for the ATF and a friend spent a day at Castaic Lake. Before he got into the boat, he put his police gear and valuables into a backpack that he later lost overboard. However, thanks to the receding water levels which had dropped by a whopping 151 feet, a fisherman, Jay Poor, was able to fish the bag out of the water after it was exposed. On opening the backpack, a gun fell out and that's when he decided to take it to the sheriff's office. The sheriff later traced the agent to the ATF and revealed the discovery. For the agent and his friend, this was a welcome surprise as it validated their story. A watch, an old paper, a miniature calendar, and class ring were also found in the bag. Number 3. Underwater Creatures As aforementioned, large water areas contain a great deal of uncanny creatures, and this next discovery goes to support my claim. Apparently, freshwater jellyfish are now a thing in California's lakes, Thanks again to the drought that saw the lake levels wane to a new low. These jellyfish appearances are sporadic and are only visible during drought years. It's also a good thing that they are not dangerous as their sting cannot penetrate human skin. However, despite these fish being tiny, some pretty big catches have been fished out of the Phoenix North Canal in an exercise to clean up the canal between 43rd and 75th Avenue. One such catch is the 32 pound catfish that was 32 inches long. It is estimated there are over 200,000 fish in the canal, and they are pretty important. The fish eat up the vegetation in the canal that would otherwise overwhelm cleaning crews. The fish rounded up in the canal were relocated to 35th Avenue. Number 2. Canal St. Martin Construction of the Canal St. Martin commenced on the orders of Napoleon to improve the supply of fresh drinking water in the city. However, it later came to be an intriguing site and a favored spot for Paris's bobos. Done every 10 to 15 years for cleaning, city officials drained the canal in 2016 and what officials found was unnerving. Stretching for 4.5 kilometers, the canal wasn't as picturesque once drained, rather a giant dustbin. The canal was empty to just under 20 inches of water to remove the fish and afterwards the cleaning commenced. Junk in the canal ranged from a pistol, which officials swiftly handed to the police, old wine bottles, motorbikes, tons of other bikes, fire extinguishers, supermarket trolleys, and public dustbins to an abandoned toilet. This waste is attributed to a number of factors. 
bikes tipping over, Paris's bobos, to folks attempting to hide evidence. Case in point, the gun. Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. Safes and Hand Grenades Topping our list is this finding of a World War II hand grenade and safes galore found in England and Welsh waterways. Back in 2015, officials embarked on an ambitious undertaking to clean up 2,000 miles of waterways in England and Wales. As a custom, there were dozens of shopping carts, tires, bikes, and other general trash-like cans. Surprisingly, though, was the number of safes found and a World War II hand grenade. The grenade was discovered at Salmon Lake, Lock and Tower Hamlets, East London, and still had the pin in it. This prompted the police into action who carried out a controlled detonation. As for the safes, 21 were found and all had been opened. Definitely the work of burglars. 14 were found in River Lee under London's North Circular Road, while 7 were found at a lock near city center. So there you have it, the top 10 bizarre discoveries made in drained water bodies. Let me know which one surprised you the most in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.